Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to yet another video and today we are going to be checking out the Stellar Blade photo mode which just got released on its latest patch. Now I've been doing my third playthrough for this game and I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite games of all time, honestly. And um, I've done photo mode tutorials in the past and I wanted to kind of showcase the photo mode for Stellar Blade and show you how to take some badass photos because I've been complimented that my photo mode skills are actually pretty, pretty good. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into this. Okay, so we've come to this moment in the game where we can check out the desert on this abandoned train, which looks absolutely gorgeous. You can see Eve's hair flowing in the wind. They've added those extra new features so that the hair can flow nicely. Her assets move a bit more realistic as what they would say. And um, yeah, man, it, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So firstly, to activate photo mode, you do have to press R1 and the left directional button together and that will trigger photo mode. Okay, so R1 and the left directional button that will trigger the photo mode. Now, alternatively, you can just press pause, go to settings, and you can go all the way down to photo mode. But if I'm gonna be honest with you, that's just a bit too long-winded. So I would definitely advise the shortcut of R1 and left, and it will trigger photo mode. The first thing that we're gonna be greeted with is the camera settings. Now, you can just move the camera roll left and right, and that's to kind of, you know, rotate the camera if you want to. I'm going to show you how to capture some really, really cool um, wallpapers in this tutorial as well. So I'll get back to the camera roll in a moment. We got the field of view or AKA field of, um, or FOV, FOV, sorry. And this is to zoom into the image or to zoom out of the image. This is kind of like your camera lens in a way, essentially. Uh, we're going to go back to the start. And now if we press R1, we will get to the shutter options. And this is where you can actually control the depth of field, which we can have off, we can autofocus, and we can have it as custom. So if I was to zoom all the way onto Eve's face, and if we press autofocus, as you can see, it's made the background blurry, but Eve is nice and focused. But we're gonna get more into that later on. So we're gonna leave it off. And then of course we've got the focus distance, focus visualization, we've got aperture, and we've also got motion blur intensity. Now I tend to have this off by default, but for some reason it's currently on. But as you can see with her ponytail, the little, her, her sword actually, you can see that it's a little blurry. Now if we turn the motion intensity, motion blur intensity off, you can see that it's nice and sharp again. So that's why I like to keep motion blur intensity off. And now if we go to our, if you press R1, we're gonna go straight to display, which you can turn on and off, HDR if you want to. Um, you're probably not gonna see too much of a difference in this video because it's just not gonna work as well because you need to see it on the TV essentially. But I'm gonna leave HDR on. And we got exposure, which you can turn the exposure up and down. We got contrast, where you can turn the contrast up and down. And we got saturation, make it more colorful. We got hue, which will turn the color grade a little bit different, which looks kind of wild to us. We've got hue intensity, so we can, you know, fade it back a little bit if you want to. And we've also got brightness. We've got bloom intensity, which you can definitely see on a chest area with the lights. You can make it to max, or you can turn it off completely. Uh, we've got sharp, sharpness, sorry. Which I'm gonna be honest with you, with this photo mode, it, I don't know, it just doesn't really look that well. I mean, it looks really, really weird. So I tend to leave that as zero. And then we got filters, which I'm gonna go back to the hue, turn that off and go back to uh, filters. As you can see, we can change the colors a little bit, which looks pretty cool. And then this is something that's pretty new to me with photo mode stuff because I, I love photo mode, all right? Let's say we go to black and white. We can actually turn on and off the filter on Eve, which if you turn it off, it's gonna make her back into her standard color, but then keep the filter on the background. I think that actually looks really, really cool. Turn that back on and turn the filter back to none. 
and you can also have filter intensity as well zoom blur which kind of makes the side the corners of the uh, of the screen more blurred out and you can also um, adjust the blur intensity of that as well environmental transparency gonna be honest with you actually I haven't actually noticed what this actually does <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it as on I suppose um, and for the chromatic aberration this is something that a lot of people actually don't like but as you can see if we turn it on to max it kind of doubles the cap the the, the the lens itself it makes it look a bit kind of dizzy in a way you know and of course we got the classic film grade all right so film grain is something that you can have on if you like but the game naturally has film grain anyways and uh yeah that's it for display we then have decorations decoration is where the fun begins you got the frames you got different types of frames and the way i take pictures i don't really like to use any of the frames so you might not see that in this video we got the copyright claims on the bottom left center or the right or you can completely turn it off we got logos. You got all these different types of logos, which again, don't really use these. But the type of photos that I take, I don't ever really use them. So, and then we've got characters. Now, characters we can have Eve as displayed on, or you can turn her off. We got Eve's pose. You can change her pose. All right. Um, we've got her expressions, so you can make her happy or sad or angry, as you can see there. And look how she's in a musical. <laughs> um, you can let Eve look at the camera, which is trippy as hell. So if we turn this on, she then looks straight into the camera. <laughs> which, yeah, that, that's, that's freaky as hell. Or you can actually position the camera to the point where she's looking at a different angle. And then have it as fixed line of sight. And then when you move around, now she's officially looking on the right hand side or on the left hand side of her position. So that's pretty cool. And you can also turn off the trusty trusty drone. You can turn on the drone light as well. The intensity of the light, you can adjust that if you like to. And because Lily and Adam is not in the uh, in the frame, you can't really uh, adjust their positions and such. And then we also have the lighting features, which I'm not gonna show you this yet, just because it's gonna it's gonna be implemented in the photo that I'm gonna take later on. So you can have a look at that then. So let's get Eve back into position. All right, let's put her right here. Okay, so we have this beautiful scenery. We're gonna press R1 and left. Now, I don't want her to be on this casual, um, casual stance. So the first thing that I like to do is get her in position. What I'm gonna do now, actually wait, let's, uh, let's let her, let's let her, stand that way there we go yeah so i like to get her into position first and then choose her pose that i would like her to have so what i'm going to do is more of a an experiment photo i would say I, i'm going to show you all the photos that i've actually taken let's find a pose that we like okay guys so i've chosen the sweetie pose which i don't think i've taken a picture like this before so this should be good next thing we're going to do is change her her facial expressions. All right, so this picture is kind of cute. This uh, this pose is pretty kind of cute. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna zoom in. We can change her position, her uh, her facial expression. She looks kind of happy. We can do a little kiss, or maybe something like this. Yeah, I kind of I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, I like the tease. That that looks cute. That is nice. Okay, and now we can't really let Eve look at the camera, so no point of that. And let's turn off the drone as well, because we don't want him in the position. We don't want we don't want him in the photo itself. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> All right. So the next thing we like to do is position the camera. All right. So we get Eve in the pose, and then we get the camera angle correct. Now I'm a big fan of low camera positions facing upwards it gives a very dramatic look and this pose is kind of nice to take a picture in like this as well we can have it like this we can have it like that or we can have it above if you want but i kind of like the the downwards up position okay 
And now, because I don't want it to be a very casual photo, what I like to do is put Eve on either one of the sides of the um, of the photo itself. Not her, not in the middle, because that looks a bit too casual. Rotating the camera so she's kind of like, you know, on the right hand side or the left hand side. But the way this pose is, I just like to have her positioned like this so you can see the background as well as Eve itself. All right. And now as you can see, there is a bit of blur around the edges of the of the picture. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off motion blur. Ah, yes, I forgot we had the uh, Vignay intensity. I'm going to turn that off. OK. And the next thing you want to do is also get rid of the copyright logo as well, because we don't want that in our pictures, right? <laughs> we don't want that in our pictures. So Eve, she's positioned like this. But as you can see, the camera, I don't know, it's a bit blurry around the edges of, these, of the screen. So what we're going to do, we're going to zoom out. And you see the field of view. We're going to zoom into her and we're going to have a nice flat position like that. I think that looks pretty cool. All right, I think that looks pretty, pretty nice. So, depth of field. Now, it is a flat image. There's not much going for it, you know? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on autofocus. And now when we turn on autofocus, we can change the focus distance and we can also change the aperture. Aperture is essentially how blurry the image is in the background, okay? And then focus distance is where you want the focus point to be. Now, with this photo mode, we do have a really, really nice feature called focus visualization. Now, if we turn that on, it's going to come up with this little yellow kind of signal. This is where it's focusing on at the moment. If we go back to focus distance, we can then change where we want the focus point to be. You see that yellow line? Exactly. That's where the focus point is going to be. All right. We're going to go all the way back to where Eve is. Because we want her to be focused. Okay. Now, once you've chosen where you want Eve to be focused, we can then turn it off. All right. And now, now we can control the aperture because right now, as you can see, the image is pretty blurry. We don't want it to be that blurry. So if we turn up, the aperture, as you can see, is getting less blurry and less blurry and less blurry all the way until it becomes super sharp again. But we don't want it to be super sharp. We want it to be slightly blurry so Eve is in the frame. Okay, so I would say to put it about 3.6. And now when we look at the image, it looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty impressive. Now, if we go to motion blur, yeah, I mean, it's up to you if you want motion blur on, but I, I leave that off completely. And now on display. Now, guys, I think this game has a good amount of contrast, a good amount of saturation and a good amount of exposure. But it's up to you if you like to adjust that. For me, I like to turn up the exposure a little bit. OK, so we can get the image a bit more brighter. Contrast, we don't want the blacks to be too black. So I like to turn it up a bit too, maybe about 50 and saturation. Well, that's down to you. You can make it you know, more black and white or a bit more saturated. I will leave mine on about. 45 hues I never really touch brightness you can touch a little bit if you want bloom intensity well I think bloom is pretty important I mean if there's any lights it would be nice to actually have them shown so that would be pretty cool but as you can see bloom around the entire image will be heightened as well not just her lights so you have to do it in a way so that it doesn't look too 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 messy you know and in sharpness, well, I never really touched that, as I mentioned before. Now, let's make this image interesting, okay? So we turn on the filters. We can maybe have this sort of filter here, the core. I, I really like the core. And if we turn off the filter for Eve, as you can see, she's gone back to normal. I think that looks pretty cool. What we're going to do, we're going to turn down the filter because we don't want it to be that, that effective. All right, we might even change this to pastel. No, I like vivid. Vivid looks pretty cool. We're going to turn that down a little bit to about 20. There we go. 
yeah that looks pretty cool and then if you want to have a frame you can have a frame i might have a frame this time i mean if we move back a little bit we can capture that image if you want we can have like an ultra wide view but if we move back it's going to then be out of focus so we can then go back to field of view and we can go to autofocus turn this on let's go back to focusing on her there we go turn that off turn that on a little bit and there we have it i think that looks pretty cool guys right yeah okay now let's let's mess around with the lighting okay because the lighting is where it really is at photos without lighting well <laughs> it's just pointless isn't it so world lighting brightness if we turn this down as you can see the whole image kind of disappears but there's an interesting feature because if we turn this all the way down and we turn on light one activate that we then have this option to control where light is bounced against Eve. Now, I think this is an amazing feature. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. So we can activate the light. We can choose where the light is targeted at. So we're going to just have it as characters. And we can choose to cast a shadow or not. I am not going to cast a shadow because I want the light to look as natural as possible. Okay. Um... We can change the range of it so you can have it as less less bright or more bright it's up to you you can also change the color of the light as well all right i'm just going to leave it as white for now and what we're going to do we're going to move the light backwards so it doesn't reflect on her that much okay and we can also turn the saturation up and down if you wanted to and we can turn down the brightness. In fact, let's turn off the saturation because we don't want that. We can turn down the brightness if you want to. All right. And you can also increase the intensity as well if you want to as well. Now, if we move this a bit forward. Oh, it's a bit bright. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. There we go. Now, we've got one lighting here, okay, which I think looks pretty decent, right? Looks pretty decent. Now, what if we wanted to add in a second light? We can go to light two, turn that on, and we can have a different light activated. Now, because we have the white light in front of us already, we don't need that again. So what we're going to do now, we're going to leave a light maybe around here, or maybe at the back here, actually. And let's change the color of that. All right, let's change it to maybe about red. Uh, actually, I like the brown. I like the brown. The brown looks pretty cool. It looks natural. We don't want it to be that saturated, though. It's going to look very unnatural. All right, turn the brightness of that up. Well, actually, no, we'll turn it down. Turn the intensity up. And we also have scatter as well, which you can basically make the light scatter around the, uh, around the image, but we don't want that. So I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to be honest with you, I think the world light is a bit too dark, so let's, let's turn that up a bit. All right. Yeah, turn up to about 40. I think that looks pretty cool. Ah, 40. 40, uh, 38, 38, yeah. And now if we go back to... If we go to light free, we can turn that on and have one more light, okay? We're going to have that maybe a bit more further out. But we're going to turn the intensity up on that one. Now we can also choose which color light we would like. So I'm going to move that back a bit. So it's more in the background. All right. Turn that to about a light blue. Saturation on high. Turn the brightness up high. Intensity high. Yeah. Have the light all the way to the left. Yeah. No, we don't want it on the, on the, on the, as you can see on the back, on the train, you can see where the light is kind of reflecting, but we want it on just the character. Car shadow on. Nah, turn that off. 
Yeah, we don't want the shadows. We want that to, to have the light. I think that looks really, really nice. Now, look, the light is on Eve. It looks absolutely beautiful, but the background is a little off. All right, because it's a bit too real. And then there's random light just scattered across on Eve. So we're going to go back to filters. Okay. And now what we're going to do is let's turn off vivid and let's go to maybe black and white. Maybe black and white, maybe like an ash. And what happens if we turn the filter off? Look at that. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. I think this photo <laughs> looks really, really dope. Okay. And what we could even do is contrast. Yeah, look at that. Look. Oh, turn the contrast up. Boom, baby. Look at that photo. I think that looks dope as hell. I think what's kind of ruining it, though, is the bloom intensity. Yeah, let's turn off the bloom intensity. That kind of, yeah. Ah, look at that. That looks even better. Holy cow. <laughs> look at that, guys. That looks so cool. Now, I don't know if you can see that little thing in the background. It's like a little, right next to her arm. That is essentially an enemy. All right. So if we go back to the characters, we can actually turn off all the enemies in the background. There you go. As you can see, turn that off. And now we have a nice, clean picture. And from there, you can press the share button. And we've now captured that image. Now, I think this image looks pretty cool. But what if we wanted to turn this into a wallpaper? Well, this is where it gets interesting. So if we want to turn off the frames, okay. And if we go back to camera roll, now, if we turn this to an angle where we can, it's kind of hard if you're on a TV, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of have to like turn my head a bit. <laughs> okay. Now what we can do is get into position so that it looks good as a wallpaper. So if we, I think, I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah. Let's uh, zoom out a bit more. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And now we just need to go back to depth of field, autofocus. And there we have it. Let's take a picture of that. And you should see it on the screen anytime soon. But guys, that has been my showcase for the photo mode of Stellar Blade. I will attach all my other photos I've taken so you can see an example of some of the other things you can take advantage of. But honestly, this photo mode is really, really cool. I really, really like it. There's a lot of things to work with. And um, if you did enjoy this video, please, please support me by hitting that like button and subscribing. I really, really appreciate that. And if you'd like to see some more photo mode um, videos, let me know which game you'd like me, for me to cover. I would love to do that for you guys. But guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Take it easy and peace.